Hey guys, what's up? So, <clears throat> I want to talk about the biggest changes that you see whenever you quit drinking. Um, usually these changes, depending on how long you've drank, but in most cases they all follow the same kind of pattern. Our bodies are amazing in the fact that they can recover pretty quickly. Um, and again, that depends on how much you've drank. Uh, when, you know, when I was drinking all the time, I drank for, you know, for about six years pretty heavily. Um, but whenever I quit drinking... Um, I started seeing better things within, you know, four or five days. Um, and that continued on, you know, for a month or two. So, some of the biggest changes, <clears throat> okay. First off, your sleep, okay. Um, a lot of a lot of people drink because they think that um, it helps them put, you know, it'll help them sleep. Or that, that might not be the reason why you drink, but you know that the fact that you drink ensures that you're going to sleep well. Let me tell you, you're not getting good quality sleep. You're not getting good REM cycle sleep, all right? So uh, one of the things I noticed whenever I quit, um, I started going to sleep, and usually I would get like 9 or 10 hours, you know, if I was drinking. I know, it was pretty crazy. Too much. Um, and that just made me more tired. And my body actually needed more rest, I guess, because I was abusing it. Um, but anyways, um, after that, I guess about... Four days into it, I started sleeping better. Um, I was realizing that I was only getting like six or seven hours of sleep, but I felt better than I did whenever I was getting ten hours, okay? My sleeping, I felt like I was getting better quality sleep. That was the big deal. Um, so sleep, and then whenever I started getting good sleep, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I woke up in the morning ready to go to work, not miserable, okay? Um, you know, you're not having hangovers anymore either. Of course, I got to the point where I never had hangovers, <laughs> Um, something else that changes, uh, you start thinking clear, okay, you start feeling like your old self. Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember if you've been drinking for years, uh, but you start thinking differently, you start seeing things you used to see them, you're not numb to everything, so uh, your feelings kind of come out, and, and it's hard to deal with it at first, it's almost like you don't even know how to be you know, sober anymore, so it's almost like you have to teach yourself to be a normal person again <laughs> of society. Um, but you start thinking clearer. You can concentrate. You, all of a sudden, you, it's easier for you to come up with ideas and to solve problems. So that's another thing that happens. Um, something else. Uh, you don't have as much gas. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but, I mean, you drink a whole lot. You just got, you're, you have a lot of extra air that you're intaking. Also, you just, all that alcohol and beer and liquor and stuff like that, it messes with your stomach. So um, your stomach problems should start to ease up within a few weeks. A um, couple weeks, actually, um, basically. So, because you're going to be going through a detox period, and that cleans you out, and that's kind of rough for a week or so. But after that, uh, your stomach starts to feel more normal again. And uh, that gas that you had all the time, especially in the morning when you wake up from doing it, uh, you don't have that anymore. Um, other things, a general feeling of happiness um, and just high on life. Uh, you start appreciating things that, you know, you didn't appreciate. I remember... Whenever I was younger and a kid, I you know, or a teenager, I used to like to go to the movies or go hang out with friends and do stuff like that. You know, I didn't drink, okay? So I started appreciating things like spending time with, you know, at home watching a movie with my fiance. you know. I, I enjoyed playing with the kids, you know, doing things like that. Stuff that I used to do, you know, I liked going to a movie. It sounded fun. I wanted to go out to eat, you know, not to drink, you know, just to get out of the house and go do something, you know exercise became more important things like that you know i was just high off life in general things that were so small and you know insignificant that whenever i was drinking were all of a sudden big deals to me um also you you just have a feeling of of self pride and happiness and peace um you're proud of yourself okay and with that comes confidence all right you're going to be a lot more confident you're going to make better decisions it's just the whole outlook you're going to feel better, okay? I don't know how to explain it. You know, everybody's different, but you're just going to feel better in general, okay? And uh, the important thing is just to keep that going. And the longer you go, you know, the, the harder it's going to be for you to relapse, you know, because you're going to be so high off life, you're not going to want to as much, okay? So if you're uh, going through this and you're stopping or you're thinking about stopping, good for you, okay? That's the first step is thinking about wanting to quit, all right? I've been there many times where I've, quit and couldn't and then you know but the thought you know count you know so 
If you're out there doing it, I wish you all the best of luck. You can ask me any question that you want, anything that I've dealt with whenever I've gone through this, and I'll be glad to answer. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I also have more videos on these topics, so check out my channel. All right, bye.